you know, coming into this one with Wichita State. Um, what was the message like in the locker room and, and, and in practice the last few days? Um, we just came in, said the next game coming fast. So learn from, we watched film, learn from our mistakes. We, we seen what we did wrong and we just try to carry over to this game. We'll um, talk a little bit more. We talked more in the second half. So just basically defense. Um, our defense was how we wanted to be at Butler. So we just try to make a statement this game. Keith, uh, talk about the resilience of this team. You know, it's, it's shown up a few times this year. Didn't quite happen um, at Butler, but showed up again tonight against Wichita State. What's it? What's this team been like? You know, already in this season, showing some resilience, coming back and winning some games. I mean, we have a great group of guys, man, who are from all different areas. Um, we got Louisiana, we got Norfolk, we got New York guys from New York. So we just we just hungry, and we de we determined to you know win. Um, you know, every every guy on this team uh, puts their self. Uh, last and put the team first. So, you know, that's just our motto. Uh, just put yourself last and put the team first and, you know, just just play to win. And that's how we've been um, since the start of the season. You hit that dagger last year from about the same spot as you hit it this year in Wichita. Um, what was it like to, you know, hit that huge shot to put you guys up three and, and pretty much put the nail in the coffin of the game? Man, I was happy to see one go in, first and foremost. I mean, uh, but it's that was, that was you know they left me open um, and I just you know felt that it was in rhythm that I should take it and it went in um, but I feel like our team really locked in the last seven minutes of the game um, got some key rebounds got some key stops and that's what really helped us uh, get this victory. Hey, Keontae, what was uh, Naquan's fir uh, first half like? You know, he hit a couple of threes, which, you know, I feel like is something he's trying to get more consistent at. Um, what is the work you see him do in practice from out there, and what's it like after a, a two-game slump from him to get back in the scoring column? Um, I feel like this is a big game for Naquan, just for um, confidence-wise, going to four. I mean, that's what he's capable of doing every night. Um, so for, like, for him to show that this game against Wichita, a big game for us, shows that how good he could be as a player. Just come in, be consistent, and, and practice, and do everything the right way. He'll be fine. And last one for me, Keith. You know, after this game, another tough nail biter. What are you guys going to take from this one uh, moving forward to you know better yourselves for the next one? Um, we'll, we'll definitely look at the second half. Um, um, and figure out how we can do that in the first half because we started off slow again. Um, but, you know, we just got to keep learning and keep growing. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we'll do that. And, you know, I, I believe in our coaching staff uh, will prepare us for the next one so that we could be better um, then. Keontae, you picked up uh, two fouls in the first <laughs> half. How do you just keep your composure and, and stay focused on the game? Oh. I was in the same situation at Florida. Uh, I used to pick up two fouls, so I feel like that just helped me oh, like carry over to this. Um, coach always tell me just stay ready, um, try to do something different on the bench to, just to get my teammates involved when I'm not on the court, be a better uh, leader with my voice. So I just try to tell everybody at, at each time out just something a little like keep talking on defense and everything, and then when I get come back in, just be ready because the game go fast. So. And Marquise, obviously K-State football wins a Big 12 championship. I mean, how different was the crowd's energy tonight? I mean, shout out to to the K-State football guys. You know, that was a good one uh, being TCU. Um, and our fans is amazing. You know, there's a lot, a lot of fans in Dallas right now. But to still have this crowd versus Wichita State um, in Manhattan, Kansas, it's, it just shows um, their loyalty and their passion for, you know, good, good team sports. So it's 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 crazy when when you see that many people in there. It just gives you a rush and it just uh, makes you want to play harder. And I guess um, that's why we, we play really, really good at home. So, yeah. So you guys were are seven and one now, just like you were talking about. Um, where is what have you guys learned from the season so far? Um, just especially in, in a game like tonight, where it's close. And um, you really have to grind one out. Really, just learn from each possession. We've got to take care of every possession. So, um, limit our turnovers. I feel like we did better tonight. I mean, we had eight. Usually, we have around 16, 17 throughout the whole game, and tonight we had eight. So. We just trying to get better at like one little factor, one of our key factors, and turnovers was one of them, and we did that. So just 
just locking in and just staying focused, basically. Yeah, and then going off uh, turnovers, like you said, uh, chemistry is a big part of that. Or are you guys at chemistry wise do you think right now and just knowing where each other are on the court? Um, uh, I mean, we like he said, we always put ourselves last, so we always want to see make that extra pass to get the other person open. To, and I feel like sometimes we be passing out our shots, and that's why it calls turnover, or we just rushing too fast. So I feel like tonight, uh, Wichita was in the zone, so it made us play in a slower pace, and we just seen a lot of things open up easier for us to limit our turnovers. What was just the the message and the energy at, at, in the locker room at halftime and in the huddles when shots weren't falling for you guys? Um, so before the game, uh, Coach Bourne, it, this was Coach Bourne's scout, and he was talking about bouncing back, uh, bouncing back from my loss uh, versus Butler. And the energy and, uh, and, and the locker room was positive. It was just all about bouncing back, doing the next right thing, um, control what you can control. And I felt like uh, that gave us some motivation to, to come and bounce back versus Wichita. And, you know, our guys did really good with, you know, staying positive when things weren't looking too good. Um, shots weren't falling. But, you know, defense travels. And I think that's why we got this win today, because our defense uh, really stepped up and we got some key stops. And then Keontae there in the, the second half, you were kind of driving the offense a little bit. What was your mindset there? Was Were you? trying to focus on, on um, scoring? Or? I mean, not really. My teammates just kept giving me confidence, um, telling me uh, just do what I like known to doing. And I just like hearing that from them is just give you more confidence and just make you want to play even harder for them and just not try to let them down. So every open look or everything I see, I was just trying to get everybody else involved and score when I can feel like I'm able to score.